In this video, I survived 100 days in Minecraft 1.18. I built a home, a boat, went netherite mining, traveled to the end, and much, much more. This video is insane, so make sure to watch till the very end. Day one, I punched some wood, killed some cows, opened some chests in some desert temples. It was insane. Day two, same thing. Day three, I found this. Oh my gosh, big pog! I also located a new biome. Stony shore. I think this is new. Definitely not something I would base at. Okay, that's really cool. At the end of day three, I found this ginormous mountain, so I went and explored it. Day four, I decided to start my own miniature base here. Don't know if I was gonna last, but I just wanted to make a base. As a bonus, there was a village right nearby. Just ransacking the neighbors, sir. It, you got a little something growing in your house. What the... <laughs> yeah, there were some issues. Okay, big excited, big excited. Boys, I repeat myself when I get excited. What I meant to say is, oh my gosh, this is the coolest cave I've ever seen in Minecraft. I started mining some obsidian because I knew I wanted to go to the nether soon. Speaking of the nether, day 6, I did go to the nether. I mined up some quartz and some gold because I needed that to make a farm at my house, and so I also did this on the same day. Day 7, I finished up the farm, and I also collected a lot of my valuables and put them into a chest because who doesn't love looking at their wealth? Day 8, I did much the same. I also went mining for some iron. And a chicken? Yep, a chicken. Sweet, 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 sweet. Day 9, I decided I wanted to go exploring some more. After all, this is the biggest exploration update ever. I boated a long time. Yep, even longer than that. I even went ice boating. Whee! I found this igloo and sure enough it had villages underneath it. I decided to be a nice guy and cure the zombie villager. Day 10 was much the same, just a lot of traveling on foot. I did, however, find this horse. I really loved this horse. It was my best friend. And then I accidentally jumped and, uh, well, let's say he's not with us anymore. Day 11 found a sunken ship with loot and a broken portal, both of which I looted. Day 12, more broken portal, more gold, more lightning. Epic. Golden apple! Day 13, I was traveling back to my base when I accidentally stumbled upon a fortress. Pretty surprised, that's kind of unusual to occur. But I stole some nether warts and went on my way. I thought I would include this fall because it hurts me. So it's funny. I accidentally entered a wrong portal that I had made on the first day, and well, I got a nice achievement, and some gold. Day 14, I located my portal to my actual base. What I forgot to mention previously is during my expeditions, I found a new place in the Badlands that I wanted to reside. And so I came back here and got my stuff. Lickety split, I took all my stuff and went back in the nether. Let's go to the Badlands. Days 15 through 25 were unfortunately lost due to the video just being a black screen. Gotta love Linux. I'm very sorry about this, but basically all that happened is that we went mining for a bit, we started up our base a little bit more, we gathered some villagers and brought them to our local area, and that's basically where we are on day 25. Day 25, I was simply mining and we watched nature run its course. <laughs> We don't say anything, but we'll, we'll take it. Thank you. I mean, I'm sorry. That's so sad. Mega discovery inbound. Oh my gosh, when you start breaking this drip zone, it sounds like a creeper. Continuing mining, I heard a skeleton and I jumped down to go attack it. Oh gosh. Shoot. Gave me a heart attack. I heard skeletons. I did not hear a creeper. I heard a creeper. 
I freaked out and almost died. Thankfully, we have diamond armor. I also did get diamond armor from a bastion that I raided between the days 15 and 25. Sadly, that's not on footage, but look at all this diamond mining footage. I mean, come on, it's legit. I realize there's a lot of gold here because we're under the Badlands. We don't really need gold, but it's nice because it's gold. We're going to be rich. Oh, yeah, here's where I almost died. Yeah, we don't worry about that. We didn't die. We're too good at Minecraft. I then decided I wanted to go back up to the surface, and this happened. Goodbye. No, you... Ew. Gross. Don't eat that. I'm gonna let you be because I'm a nice guy. Even though you're not letting me alone. Because you're not a nice woman. Ow. I'm actually gonna... Honestly, I don't know how I almost died there. Kind of confused where we are, to be honest. <laughs> I see the village. Is that the same village? Egg. Boop! Did I hatch a baby? Oh! Oh my gosh! It... I will now call you my child. Timmy. Timmy. Timmy? We could name him Timmy. We don't have a name. Wait, we have a name. We don't have a lead. We can't really take Timmy. I will come back for you one day, Timmy. Yo, we made it home. Yes, this is our home. Welcome to the Badlands. So I really enjoy it when I change my mind multiple times. But I think this is the perfect spot where we're going to base because we're right next to a jungle, a plains, and we're in a freaking mesa. Look at this. Look how gorgeous this is. Days 27 through 35, I've condensed quite a lot. But basically what happened is we did a lot of resource gathering. We decided that we wanted to make a boat and put our villagers in that. So we also built up a boat and transported the villagers inside. Turns out I'm actually half decent at making boats. Yes, that is glass half full thinking. And here we awkwardly sit between a couple having a child. Drum roll, please. A child. I have no regrets. That wasn't awkward at all. Day 36, I crafted my enchantment table and got animals for my farms. Jeez, what do you think I was going to use animals for? Just a little pushy pushy. Haha, <laughs> now you're trapped. Now I can put a fence and a water bucket on you and now you're mine. Day 39, I spent about 10 minutes of the day just getting a mending villager, but it was worth it. No, I'm being serious. This is how long it took. Anyways, talking about enchantments, I set up my enchantment room with this beautiful amethyst. Sounds so good when it's placed too. Moving along, day 40 was spent farming. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but it sounds cool. Day 41, I decided I want to go adventuring some more, and I found this stalagmite stalactite cave. I don't know what else you'd call them other than that. My adventure continued with Frostwalker on my boots as I walked through the ocean. Day 43, I just kept stumbling upon more cool things 1.18 has to offer. Oh, this is so cool. It even had its own little dock, so I went inside and went exploring. Wow. I mean, who doesn't think this is the coolest thing ever? Day 44, I made it back to my base, and I went straight to my boat and placed all the beds that I had stolen from those dang villagers. Sorry, villagers. If you've gotten to this point in the video, I want to personally thank you for watching this far. Keep going, it's a great show. Let me know in the comments what else you want to see from my channel. I am open for suggestions, just putting it out there. Let's get back into this video, though. I also did more villager training, as one does. Day 46, I got right at work creating my house. Enjoy all the clicks. Level 30 enchant silk touch. Should we do that? First level 30 enchant ever. Not bad. We can get on breaking three. Oh, that's perfect. 
perfect. Using my acquired silk touch pickaxe on day 47, I was able to make my sheep farm work. Clickety click click. Day 48 was a brand new day and also a day that I would be working on my house. Yes, this house is massive, it does take a lot of time, but I am speed running through it. I mean, just take a look at this. Look at this dude. Also, I made sure to visit my villagers almost every day to make sure that they were keeping up them profits, if you know what I mean. Everyone get your fair share of bread. And breed away. Thank you. You're gonna make me many profits very soon. I feel like this was a slow start, honestly, to the 100 days. But we're gonna start racking in the money so fast. You know, we'll get we'll get better armor soon enough, but we're like so pro we don't even need to get better armor. Okay, you know what? That looks kinda like a submarine. We'll just call it a submarine. It's not a boat. I had to put a roof over it because we don't want the villagers to die, get struck by lightning by any chance. It kinda looks like a submarine, you know? Kind of a wide submarine, maybe futuristic. Let's go with that. Day 49. The final stripping. Well, that doesn't sound right. It's going in. Yo, it's done. Oh the the basing of the build is done. Honestly, we could leave it up like this. It look, it would look just as cool. Okay, maybe not as cool, but we're gonna make it look better. We're gonna have Alex. Don't spoil. Yeah, gonna look great. Trust me. Pretty amazing what a little cleanup work can. Oh, pretty amazing what a little cleanup work can do. After the cleanup, I went down to my mine and I started farming some moss because I would need that for my house. What do you want a moss roof, baby? A fifty, boys and girls. Halfway done. I wasn't hoping this run would be so grindy, but I am still doing some farming. But at the end of the day, literally, I'm able to work on my house. But Alex, you said it wasn't supposed to be grindy. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. That's a lot of moss. Day 51. I relaxed, built up my house. It was quite peaceful. Here's your one good look of the world, because I don't constantly cut. Day 52, I didn't actually have to try that hard, but I was able to get a Silk Touch Villager for super cheap. And, excuse me, that's pretty epic. I'm gonna lock that guy in. <laughs> I then spent more time at putting villagers in their designated locations. Yo, perfect. He could just stay there. Wow. He went in with no issues. I cycled all night long until day 53 when I was able to get a Thorns 3 villager. Do we need Thorns? Thorns might not be a bad enchantment, especially for 11ms. You know what, we're taking it. I could get you to just go right here. Perfection. And into day 54. In all honesty though, this is going to be the greatest run ever. It is a little bit grindy right now, but stay patient. I mean, it's sharpness five. We have to do it, don't we? We're doing it. Day 55 and 56, we decided to go mining for some diamonds, and oh boy, we got a lot of diamonds. I had a lot of good footage here, and then as I'm editing, it disappeared. And I'm not putting it back, I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to trust me. Here's some basic B-roll. Enjoy! On a side note, I wanted to point out that I really do love the structure of how the caves are laid out now. It's not just a bunch of tiny tunnels, it's actually a whole interconnected system where these giant different shapes, caverns, it's so cool. Day 57, I spent more time down at the farm, kept the cows in check, and then I came back up and smelted some ores. Thank goodness for the smoker and the blast furnace, am I right? Day 58, I was able to get another villager that traded sticks. This boy didn't know, but he was gonna get robbed. I'm gonna be filthy rich. Also, I had a ton of gold, so I just decided to make golden apples. I think that was a good decision. And I had a ton of levels, so I went on an enchantment spree. Day 59, it was my mission to get some netherite, but first I stopped at the fortress and got some blazes. Sadly, all the killing made me late. So when I mined down for some netherite, it was day 60. That's okay, we got the TNT. After all the exploding, we went to town. 
Then on day 63, we decided to go take out the Ender Dragon. Now that the Y level's changed? It could be. It has. We're just speedrunning this. We're just speedrunning this. We found the room. Wow. Every moment has led up to this point. If I die, I die. Just kidding, I'm cracked. Oh my gosh, that does so much damage. Let's do it! Let's go! Woo! Yeah, baby! Just like that, we had beaten the game. Or had it. We got it. Day 64, we decided to go to the End Islands. Let's go. Mainly because we wanted our elytra. Day 65 and 66 were spent going to End Cities and looting everything they owned. Including the people themselves. Weird. Hey, don't look at me, I'm just here for the 100 days. We ended up getting 5 elytras. Day 67, I used all the XP I got from the dragon and enchanted some OP tools in here. Also, I like farming, can you blame me? <laughs> I don't actually like farming, I just love being rich. Our first epic pick. Nice. I then spent the rest of day 68 finishing up most of the roof on my house. It's looking pretty nice. This is definitely quite a big build, so I'm glad I got a lot of moss. I also wanted to have quite a green floor, so I started on the floor as well. Day 69, among other things, I planted my roof that's a thing. And I also made a ton of shulker boxes with the loot that I had acquired. I decided that I wanted to incorporate them in my floor, though I may want to put some dye on it in the future. Day 70, I continued to build my boat empire. Yo, this sheep about to make me bank, bro. Day 71, I continued my farming expeditions and set up my automatic sugarcane farm. Day 72, I collected more moss because I need a lot for my floor. Day 73 was spent pushing the sheep into a hole. Easy does it. There you go. You're almost in. There you go! My villager sells black wool. I think it's about time we get full netherite armor. Day 73. <clears throat> feeling good about this one. Yo! I was feeling good about this one. I didn't expect I'd be this good at finding ancient debris. This is the most satisfying craft ever. Oh my gosh. We have eight netherite ingots. Let's go, that's so epic. We did this within 100 days. It's pretty impressive. And now, have the best gear. Maybe not enchantment wise, but we got the best gear in the game. This is insanity. On day 75, I decided I'd go to the nether for a couple of days and get some wither skeleton skulls because I was defeating the wither. Day 76, I prepared a better spawning area for the wither skeleton skulls because I knew that it was going to be hard to get all three skulls. 
and it turned out to work great in my favor. Oh, I can't believe I wasn't recording. We got another Wither Skeleton Skull. Confidence restored. I really thought we were gonna have to leave. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna get this third skull. We're gonna defeat the Wither. I'm intentionally leaving this part of the video uncut because I want you to see how fast I got my third Wither Skeleton Skull. Take a look at this. Yo, what are the chances? We killed one, we killed another one, it didn't drop, and we killed a third, and it dropped one. Ah, day 82. Coming back, ready to... We can't do that. <laughs> we need soul sand. Re day 83, I used my acquired soul soil, and I made a path between all of the different things I had around my base. This made it really convenient because I had soul speed 3 on my boots, so it made traveling much quicker on my so-called mega base. Day 85, I took this mossy cobblestone and I bordered it around my roof. And I think it looks really good. It adds a lot of character to this nature build. Day 86, I went to the nearby jungle and started grabbing some saplings because I wanted to take nature and bring it to my house. For the past 85 days, I have been missing a lot of vegetation and I realized that. So I'm bringing in some trees because who doesn't love trees around their base? It looks gorgeous. For days 87 and 88, I decided to remove my nether wart farm, my chests, and all of these weird crappy utility blocks around the base. Put them in a nicer spot. Come on. At this point, I didn't care that any of these items were despawning. I had already sorted through them. Only one word can describe this day. Take it away, Alex. Stonks. Stonks. I love it when I stop recording. We got the perfect axe here. It's not quite perfect, but we'll make it perfect. And we got mending on our helmet, so that's fun. And we're gonna go fight the wither. I think I know exactly where we're gonna fight the wither. Let's do it! For those wondering, I wanted to have a fair wither fight. I didn't want to trap this guy in a little tunnel or underneath the end portal. That's just dumb. Everything looks good. And if we need to, we can always escape. Probably. So, he f we can't really reach him that well. Which is kind of annoying. Whoa! So I guess we're just kind of stuck to it. No, we can't really bow spam. We don't have a lot of arrows, so I guess we just take him down here. Oops, don't want to eat that. Oh, that axe. That axe does so much, bro. Bro. He's dead. We got him. That axe does so much damage. Forever known as the perfect axe. What a fight, honestly. What a fight. Boom, look at that. We got ourselves a beacon. I placed our newly acquired beacon and got us some speed. Now we go ultra fast. We literally go so fast, we zoom. Back to business. We're gonna go fight the ender dragon again, cause why not? So we needed some gas tears. Go a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and boom. Hmm, I think we're just about ready to go. Just making sure everything else looks good here. All right, let's go. Wait, what? What? Where did all my stuff go? Oh no. I guess we're stuck fighting with just leather armor. Good luck, Alex. Don't die or else the series is over. Let's do this. Yes. Let's go! 
We did it! Oh my gosh! <laughs> There's no way! We did it! Of course, I knew that it was dumb going into the Ender Dragon fight with just leather armor and iron tools, but I had confidence, and we succeeded. On a side note, I'm on top of the world! Day 94, I thought it'd be good to go back to the good old days of when we first started and go back to the caves, really enjoy the caves and cliffs update. Days 95 and 96, I spent cleaning up the base, upgrading our beacon, and holy cow, this is hyped. Because it was hype. And then it wasn't hype when we had to move our beacon, but it looks better where it is now. <laughs> Day 97, I thought it'd be nice to spend a couple more minutes with my family, the animals, the villagers, and of course, the carrots. I love you so much, carrots. I fed my cows one last time. I love them so much. It's not like I stuffed them in a hole with a fence on top of their head and forced them to die. Day 98, I brought up another pris- <clears throat> I mean a villager, and got him in place where I could start trading with him. All I can say is if I ever do this again, I'm trading more sticks. Also, I wanted a nice orange beacon to fit the mesa biome. Pretty orange. Day 99, I added a few more enchants to my tools and armor. Pretty much all that was needed was some mending. Thanks once again, villagers, for being the best. After that, there was nothing else to do but to climb the mountain right next to our base and enjoy the sunrise of peaceful day 100. And that is my story of how I survived 100 days in Minecraft 1.18. Subscribe if you enjoyed.